Hey guys, Shaber1000 here. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing. Only this one is a little more interesting. Stay tuned, let's see what this is all about. Okay guys, we got here a box. We're going to unbox this box now. I don't know what's in it, but I, I do know where it came from. But there's a, a little backstory on this box. So I'm going to roll a little clip here for you, and uh, you'll get an idea of what's going on. All right, so they won't let us in. We have called them. They gave us a phone number. Probably wasn't real. And his name is Paul, the general manager, which they were supposed to be waiting for our call, and the phone number just rings and rings and rings. There's no answering machine, no nothing. How convenient. This is not about being mean or anything like that. This is about a federal law and letting emotional service animals in a public facility. And um, Ripley's, believe it or not, in Orlando will not let emotional animals in their facility. Um, so they're going against the federal law, um, which is not, I don't think, a good thing to do. Um, it's also discriminating against any disability. So that's not good either. I'll read this. This is what we found. Federal law prohibits discrimination of breed, size, training level, or age of any emotional support, emotional support, or service dog. Emotional support dogs do not have to be trained to perform any specific task. Service dogs can be trained by their owners in any other manner or in any other manner the owner desires to assist them with their disability. People with service People with service animals must be allowed access to all public accommodations. This right takes precedence over all state and local laws, which might otherwise prohibit animals in those places, such as stores, malls, restaurants, hotels, resorts, airlines, cruises, taxi cabs, buses, just to name a few. Okay, guys. So what I did was... You know, I called the corporate office, and of course, I left my name and number because this was on a Sunday. Um, yeah, it was on a Sunday. Monday morning, what the hell was it? Monday morning, they called me. They did call me first thing Monday morning, corporate office, and we had a long chat, and I voiced my opinion and my side of the story, and the woman that I had talked to from uh, Ripley's, believe it or not, from the corporate office, uh, was very apologetic and was very understanding. And uh, she's going to try to, well, she went that day to go talk to the employees. Uh, one employee that was supposedly waiting on her call, what an asshole, his name's Paul, so Paul, fuck you. And the other guy that wouldn't let us in, he was an asshole. Fuck you too. Excuse my French, but that's the way I feel. You're both assholes. They out and out lied. They just treated us like shit. And I let them know that. So anyway, they're going to try to try to put a policy in order that uh, you know that this so this won't happen again. They felt very bad, you know, about you know what what we went through. And Monkey and I, I told her how Monkey was, you know, so upset and everything, and it just kind of ruined our day and, and shit. And uh, so she got her address, and she said she was going to send a care package out for Monkey. I don't know why Monkey didn't want to do this video with me, but, you know, whatever. Because it was kind of her, you know, the clip that you just seen from her channel. So anyway, I'm, I guess I'm going to open it up and let's see what's in here. So let's let's start right now. Okay, guys. Let's see if I can get a little more light here. I don't know if 
if that's too much or not, but let's open this up. There's something in here. And they did UPS it, so I guess it's just uh, one of those packing lists. Yeah. Alright, let's open this up. But it don't make it right, so I wish you guys would, uh, you know, share that video of hers, Monkey 1000, uh, because I feel, we feel that it's discrimination, and wholeheartedly feel that, and totally believe that. So they're supposed to send a bunch of things, so, so we got it all wrapped up here. Let's turn you down a little bit more. Let's see what we got. Here. Right. Wow. They have sent us a card. I'm going to read this uh, privately. So, what do we have here? We have a zip up sweatshirt that says Ripley's on it. See that right there? Pretty cool. Got pockets in it. It's nice and warm. They sent. Oh wow! I don't know what this is, but it's kind of cool. Moves around and stuff. Um, how it works, I don't know. But it's pretty neat. Of course, this is Ripley's. Believe it or not, on it. We have a pen. Please believe it or not. Okay. Oh, they give us a pen. We also have here. Oh, we've got. Is that a magnet? There's the cricket building that you've seen in the clip right there. Maybe it's too much light. Is it too much light? Shut this back off. Okay. Anyway, get that. And we have an umbrella. It says Ripley's Believe It or Not on it. So, um, I'm sure that's all it just says on I'm not going to open it up now anyway because we're in the house and we all know that's bad luck. By the way, what can go up a chimney down? but can't go down a chimney up. You guys know that? I'm sure some of you guys probably do. It is an umbrella. Okay, and we have this little item right here. This is pretty cool. Uh, let me get a light on this because I want you to see the color. Nice and sparkly. So anyway, that's an unboxing from, you know, Ripley's Believe It or Not. Um, man, like I said, they did send us a, looks like a nice card. Marty and Laura. Let's kind of take a peek in here. Let's see. Like I said, I'm not going to go into anything personal. Oh, well, that's cool. Huh. Well. Look at this, guys. Is that cool or what? Um, not, where's my glass? Let me take a gander at this real quick. And it came in this card. So, I'm probably not going to read this out loud, but... Passes so that you can visit a Ripley's Believe It or Not of your choice. But are we allowed to bring the dog? Anyhow, she is going to love this. All right, so there you go. So hopefully, uh, this woman can get something done about that so other people do not have the same problems that we had, and hopefully, we will not have the same problems again. So um, 
But anyway, that was nice of this one. This woman, like I said, was very understanding. And she uh, she did talk to me, asked plenty of questions, answered all of my questions. Uh, and assured me that that was not going to happen again. And she don't know why this Paul guy didn't answer his damn phone. Because they carry cell phones for a reason. And so... Anyway, guys, there's an unboxing for you. So, uh, you'll probably, this is Friday, but you'll probably see it tomorrow, which will be today if you see it today, which will be Saturday. So, I don't even know why I tell you that. But anyway, guys, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Monkey1000. Check her channel out. She's doing pretty good on her videos. She's getting a lot better at them, doing, making them, editing them. I have her an editor on her uh, laptop now and uh, and I'm going to get her a camera like the one we're using here, a Sony um, she seems to like this one so but I'm going to let her use this and, and try it out and stuff so remember guys, Shea Bear, again thanks for watching Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend I'm gone for now, chat with you guys soon, have a great weekend, bye bye now take care